Sports and Health Unit 31 Keeping Fit We all need regular exercise to keep fit, but if we study all day, we don't have time to run, swim, lift weights, or play basketball. What can we do to stay in shape? One thing we could do is walk more often. Walking is good exercise. Instead of going to school by car or bus, we could walk. During recess, we could go outside and stroll around before we go back to class. Instead of taking the elevator in buildings all the time, we could use the stairs. Another important thing is to take breaks from studying. If we sit at our desks or in front of a computer for a long time, we should stand up and stretch our arms and legs once each hour. If we stand for a long time, we should sit down and stretch our backs. These are just a few ways we can stay fit when we don't have a lot of time to exercise. Do you know some other ways? Unit 32. Stop yawning. Stop yawning, Jason. I'm sorry, Miss Terry. I can't help it. You can. You yawn because your lungs need more oxygen. When you need more oxygen, you open your mouth wide and take in a lot of air. What can I do to stop yawning? You should go outside into the fresh air and breathe deeply. Then you won't need to yawn anymore. Your lungs will have lots of oxygen. We just came in from recess, so why am I yawning? Are you tired? Being tired also makes you yawn. This is because your body needs rest. Oxygen helps your body rest. Sleeping rests your body and makes you take long, deep breaths. Then why do I yawn when I am bored, Ms. Terry? Well, Jason, when you are bored, you are probably not breathing deeply enough. The best way to stop yawning from boredom is to do something interesting. If you can't do that, try taking deep breaths. This will not stop the boredom, but it will help you stop yawning. Unit 33 the gym. Did you hear that a new gym opened on one of the streets nearby? That's great news. I've gained some weight and I'd like to lose it through exercise. I need to lose weight too, and I've always wanted to take yoga classes. Do you know if the new gym offers yoga classes? I'm not sure. I'm planning to go there on Friday evening to look around. Do you want to join me? Let me check my schedule for this week. I'm too busy on Friday. So can we go on Saturday afternoon instead? Sure, we can see what the new gym has to offer and get some exercise too. It's fun to work out in a gym with other people. We might even meet new people with similar hobbies. Hold on, let's see what the gym looks like first before we start planning anything else. Let's meet for lunch at the West End Cafe before we go. It might be the last good meal we eat. Good plan. Unit 34, A Healthy Lifestyle This burger is delicious. Do you want some? No, thank you. I'm working out at a gym these days. I want to be healthy, so I've also started eating good, fresh food. You're exercising? That's fantastic. When did you start thinking about your weight and staying in shape? Last month, I had a checkup. My doctor told me that I should be leading a much healthier lifestyle now that I'm getting older. Now I try to eat small, regular meals instead of one or two big meals a day. I see. What types of food do you usually eat now? I eat lots of fruit and vegetables. I try to limit carbohydrates like bread, rice, and pasta. I also try not to eat sugary foods. Oh dear, I love sugary foods, especially cakes. Well, try to eat food that is good for you. You need to take care of yourself. You're right. I should start thinking about a healthier lifestyle. But first, I'm going to finish my burger. Unit 35. A Balanced Meal I have lost 7 pounds in one week. Skipping breakfast really works. I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? People who skip breakfast eat more at the next meal. Eating breakfast is very important. Breakfast gives you energy for the day. Well, I eat one big meal a day at dinner time. 
Having one meal a day is not good. You should have several small meals a day. You'll have more energy that way. Maybe you're right. I have been feeling really tired lately. What do you usually eat? I only eat salads now. Salads alone may not be nutritious enough. So, what should I eat? You need some protein and carbohydrates. It is important to eat a good variety of food at each meal. You should have balanced meals. Make sure you eat cereals, fruits, and vegetables, and some bread or rice. You also need milk and dairy products, and some meat. You'll be healthier. You'll have more energy. You'll even look better. Travel and Transport Unit 36 Across Canada I'm so excited. I just got back from the travel agency. Travel agency? Where are you going? I'm planning to go to Canada on vacation. Canada? How exciting! How long are you going for? I'm going for a month. I want to see as much as I can. You are so lucky. What places are you going to visit? First, I'll spend a few days in Vancouver. Then, I'll take a train through the Rocky Mountains. Oh, you're riding through the Rockies. That's really exciting. Then I'll fly to Toronto and take a bus to Niagara Falls. Did you know that you can actually take a boat under that huge waterfall? It's called Made of the Mist. Wow, that's an amazing thing to do. You're so lucky. Well, I hope I don't get seasick. I'll finish my trip in Nova Scotia. I want to eat lobster for dinner every night, and I'd like to bike around some small fishing villages too. Have a great time and take lots of pictures. Unit 37. A trip to Europe. Where are you going on vacation this year, Andre? I'm going to Europe with my parents. We're going to take a tour of France, Italy and Germany. Oh, that will be such fun. How long will you be gone? Three weeks. We're going in the summer, so I won't miss any school. What will you do there? We're going to visit historical sites, like the Colosseum in Rome. We'll also see famous museums, like the Louvre in Paris. And of course, we're going to the top of the Eiffel Tower. How will you travel from one country to another? There's a famous train that goes all over Europe. It's called the Eurorail. I wish I could go with you. My family is going to the seashore again, just like last year. I'd like to go somewhere I've never been. Don't worry, Julie. I will take lots of pictures, and I'll buy you a souvenir. Thank you. I'll collect some seashells from the beach for you. Thanks. Unit 38, New Mexico. Hi. I haven't seen you for two whole weeks. Where did you go on your vacation? I visited my cousin in New Mexico. I had a great time. Mexico? I thought you went to the U.S. I did. New Mexico is a state in the southwestern U.S. It's between Texas and Arizona. Guess what? A lot of Americans don't know that New Mexico is a state. The license plates on cars in New Mexico also say USA. This is so that people don't get confused and think the driver is from Mexico. That's funny. So, tell me what you did in New Mexico. My favorite part was visiting Carlsbad Caverns. There are 30 miles of caves. In one cave, we had to wear hats with lights on them so we could see in the dark. Sometimes we had to crawl through very narrow tunnels on our hands and knees. Weren't you scared? No, it was a lot of fun. I'm going to visit my cousin again next year. You should come with me. Unit 39. A good way to travel. Traveling is a good hobby. If you have very little money, backpacking is a good way to travel. Many students like to backpack. They can travel cheaply. They can travel to many places. These travelers carry their belongings in large backpacks. They are called backpackers. Backpackers take buses or trains to save money. They camp outdoors to sleep. If they stay in a city, they may go to a hostel. 
A hostel is like a hotel. Hotels are not cheap. Hostels are very cheap. Travelers often share rooms at hostels. There are only a few toilets and baths. People share them too. Hostels are a good place to meet other travelers. You can make friends. They can tell you about fun things to do in the area. Many hostels have kitchens. These kitchens have stoves. Some have toasters. You can buy your food from a store. Then you can cook at the hostel. This is cheaper than eating out. Just remember to clean up when you are done. Unit 40, a train announcement. Welcome on board the TGV 740. We are now leaving Paris. We will arrive in Marseille at 3 p.m. We offer free beverages in each car. Please have as much coffee, tea, or soft drinks as you wish. There is a restaurant on the train. You may purchase a meal there during the trip. The restaurant is in car 11. We will make two stops on this trip. We will pick up passengers in Provence and Dijon. Passengers changing trains can ask the attendant for a free timetable. This will help you with your onward trip. Please note that smoking is only permitted in cars 15 and 23. Newspapers are given to all passengers. Mobile phones and the internet may be used in cars 18 and 25. If you need assistance, please press the button near your seat to contact a cabin attendant. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the trip. We are pleased to have you on board. We look forward to serving you again in the future.